When was the last time you gave her? It was in the middle of the night. Good morning, everybody. Not good morning, because it is far from it in this household, honestly. I was hoping by the time I picked up the camera again that we would all be better and things would be back to normal, but unfortunately that is not the case. We are going on an entire week of this sickness in our house. What we originally thought to be the stomach bug because there was throwing up involved for three out of the four kiddos, I've come to realize is not the stomach bug, it was just one of the symptoms of whatever this is, whether it be the flu or just an incredibly bad um, respiratory illness. Surprisingly, the person that has hit the hardest with this is Emma, and she has been the first one that got symptoms, and she is still the one that is experiencing the worst symptoms out of all of us. It's terrible. Like, I think that this has been mine and Justin's hardest weeks as parents because of how miserable our kids have been, and not in a way that's like, oh my gosh, I'm tired of this, but like seeing them in this amount of like distress and discomfort and everything has been like my heart hurts so bad every day my friends are texting me like how's she doing how's how are the kids how's Faye all of this and every day I feel like I'm like still not better like there's not really an improvement and it just feels like it's dragging on this is the slowest sickness this is worse I can't believe I'm saying this but this is worse than when we had the norovirus last summer. The littlest and I were actually the last ones to develop symptoms from this, her actually before me. And I am so far the only one who has not caught a fever from this, which I don't understand. I don't know if that's just literally motherhood body, like fighting off everything. I just have the runny nose and the sore throat, but she had a fever a couple days ago. She's, I think, in the clear from the fever now. It's just been like, Oh my gosh, I can't even describe how hard this week has been because I just want to hold all of them. Like I told Justin, I need a baby carrier that can put her in the front and the three kids on my back because I just want to comfort all of them and give them all my attention, which is why I've literally barely like been on my phone at all. I've just been cuddling and trying to heal these kids up. I'm hoping, I say this every day, but I'm hoping that today is the last like hard day and that tomorrow we jump back up a little bit um mostly just emma and then we're kind of improving a little bit by a little bit but we're running on basically fumes at this point hi holding up that <laughs> i'm laughing because i know how you're holding up. oh man i love you <laughs> i love you this is how i was keeping track of all of the kids um like See how it's all and... stretched out now because it's just not even worth it <laughs> Track. No, it kidding. is. Just we kidding. just had to start I'm over so many times because it was going on for days at that point. Luckily, Ruben and Faye both only took one dose of um, like fever reducing medication. Asher and Emma had a much harder time, as did this guy. He has got the immune system of a baby. He <laughs> cannot. I've, had, I've been breaking fevers the last three nights. Dude. I know. It's he ridiculous. literally is like a child. He cannot break his fever. There have been so many moments this week where we've thought that everybody was on the up and then the decline just happens like almost midday every day. It's like the mornings start out like manageable and then the days, like the nighttime in the afternoon, they like kind of tank. The boys I feel like are better for the most part. They just have like that lingering cough, the lingering like boogers. They are fever free for what, like three, three days now. Like that part is over with for them. Like I said, Emma's having the hardest time. Now Faye has the boogers coming out. So I just did like a Target drive up order on my phone because obviously I don't want to go see anybody in the store or interact with anybody. Got some saline mist, got some more tissues, just like all of the necessities. I know whoever does that order is gonna be like, oh my gosh, this person is sick. So I'm just gonna pop the trunk for them and let them stick it in. And I'll even wear a mask just while I'm in the car just so that they feel fine. But yeah, it's, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be enough. It's literally been a week. You guys, it's hard. Emma seems, I, I don't wanna jinx it. Emma seems to be doing better this morning, not 
fevering high. Like her fever is at like 99, which I don't even know if that's considered a fever. But um, she's she seems to be picking up like a little bit. When was the last time you gave her? It was in the middle of the night. Or no, it was before bed. So she hasn't had anything since yesterday at 6.30. That's what I wrote down, yeah. 6.30 yesterday and Justin just checked and she still doesn't have a fever, so. This is me, praying, crossing my fingers, crossing literally everything just that we are gonna get better. I've even gone so far as putting bowls of raw onions by the kids' beds when they're sleeping. Well, they've got the humidifier too. Because I read somewhere that they like soak up the toxins or whatever, but I don't think that it's helping, sadly. Okay, we're not gonna talk about the way that I look right now because I know it's not good. That has been the least of my priorities this week. But I wanted to give you guys a heads up on a couple things because I actually just got a message from our pediatrician's office when we were like three days into this illness that there's this huge surge of the flu, COVID, any sort of like respiratory illnesses going around right now. Like it is everywhere. The pediatrician's office doesn't want to see you unless they absolutely need to type of thing. So it's, it's bad right now. So I wanted to give you guys a couple of things that have been helping us at least during this time. Like nothing has gotten us better completely, but things that have helped us get through this week that I would 100% like to restock in the pantry for the rest of this winter in case something comes up again. Like I need to revamp our cold and flu season kit because I realized I was unprepared when Emma came home sick. I'm, I'm just guessing she picked us up at school because that's typically where sickness comes into the household. We don't really do much outside of school. <laughs> I mean, there's a possibility they like pick it up at a park or something like that, but unlikely. Anyways, these are things that have saved us this last week that I would 100% buy again and we'll be stocking up on for the rest of the winter. First, there's the obvious things, Tylenol and Motrin. So you want both of those in your pantry like stocked, especially when you have multiple kids, like you go through it pretty quickly as you guys saw in our fridge. Um, we have the children's Motrin, we have regular Tylenol. I think they make infants Tylenol, but I'm pretty sure they're the same thing. Don't quote me on that. There was like this big lawsuit about it. Um, so Tylenol and Motrin. If they have a cough like our kids have gotten this cough that's been really hard at nighttime something that really helps is honey you can't do like cough suppressants at this young of an age I think it might be if like you're like six and older I don't know you should check like obviously with your doctors but I'm pretty sure you can't do those at this age so honey is a big help if they're after I think it's after one year old so obviously Faye hasn't had any but honey has been a lifesaver for Emma and the twins have just started to get the coughs so we actually haven't given them any yet but for Emma it has been really really helpful for nighttime especially. Three is saline mist. I really like the boogie. I think the brand is like boogie. They make the boogie wipes. They make one that's like a saline spray that's really easy. I used to use like the squirt bottle ones, but those are a lot harder. I like the mist one. So a saline spray to help with congestion as well as a cool mist humidifier. We have two, one for each of the kids' bedrooms. I think we're gonna literally buy a third for our bedroom because now we have one kid in here with us, but they're just like, I want them all throughout the house. Next is Vaseline or Aquaphor, something like that for under the noses. When you get raw from like running your nose so much and wiping it so many times, your nose starts to hurt. I think mine, you can even see how red it is. Vaseline for me is a huge helper as well as Burt's Bees Chapstick. We just like the regular one, but for your lips is a big helper. Next is a really good working thermometer. We have a forehead thermometer. I am honestly not the biggest fan of it. I feel like it kind of jumps around. We've tried the ear thermometers as well and I feel like it did the same thing. Um, I'm much more of a fan of just the regular thermometer. I know that those are harder with like wiggly toddlers, etc. but I feel like they're more accurate um, if you use just like a regular thermometer. But if yours works good and you trust it, then just pick the one that you have. I'm just saying, I think that the cheapo regular thermometers work the best. And then just the regular stuff, like I think um, Freedom Mom makes a couple of like Vapo rub type things that I would like to restock on as well. So those are like my definite it, you need to have these and restock these and have them plenty on hand. Just wanted to give a heads up because I guarantee a lot of you guys are probably either going through the same thing right now because I got a lot of your DMs on Instagram or are about to because it is a rough time of year. But with that being said, I'm going to try and get some rest. Emma's taking a nap right now, which thank God she, she needs so much rest. Faye's taking a nap. I wish the boys would take a nap. They've taken random naps this whole week. Like they will just fall asleep in the middle of the day on the floor or on the couch. So they'll probably fall asleep again again out there we're trying to get them to calm down i'm gonna try and rest while everyone else is resting because i need it too and just needs it too thank you guys for watching and hopefully the next time we talk will be better